Hey guys, it's me, Victoria, and today I want to do my November favorites for you. So, let's get started. So, um, first things first is this little thingy here. It is a rainbow maker, a solar-powered rainbow maker. Um, so basically, with this little suction cup, you attach it to the wall, and when the sun comes, hits this little panel, these little gears turn, these crystals start spinning, and yes, it does make a, a slight, like, whirring noise, but it will just create sunbeams all around your apartment if you have a room with direct sunlight. It's amazing. I love it so much, I bought two, and I want to buy, like, ten, and just put them, like, on every single surface, but then I just feel like it would be, like, the whirring sound would just be too, would, like, drive me insane. But I don't even really notice the wording style with just one or two. It's really awesome. And I got it on Amazon, so I will link it down below. Okay. Next thing is this little kitchen gadget. It is a garlic mincer. Put the garlic in here with these knives. Then you roll it on the ground like crazy man. And it minces the garlic in like two seconds. Bam. Done pretty awesome it works really well so yes yeah, so it looks like a kitchen gadget like which is totally useless but it's actually very useful so don't judge a book by its cover next thing I want to show you guys is my favorite spice and you can tell I mean it because I've used up this entire container basically and it is sumac and it's this like Middle Eastern spice I believe they put on top of like hummus a lot in like the real Middle East. And um, it has like this lemony flavor and it, yeah, substitute for lemon juice it says. And that's really, I can't believe how lemony it, it um, makes things taste. It's like this incredible thing. It's like a powder that um, tastes like lemon juice. It's crazy. And it's kind of smoky and... I don't know. You just gotta try it. It's, it's really good. I, I love it. Next thing I want to show you guys is um, my keychain. No. It's, yeah, actually it is my keychain. Um, it's this little bird keychain thing I got, but it goes along with this little birdhouse. And you put the birdhouse on your wall, but I don't want to take, it's on my wall, so I don't want to take it off. But then you nest this little bird in the birdhouse so that you always have a spot for your keys when you come home and you always know like where your keys are, it's just a special spot for your keys. And um, yeah, it's just like, I love it. It's just made my house like feel so homey. I'm like, I'm gonna find more things like this. It's just, it's just really awesome and I just feel like now I'll never lose my keys because I have like a special spot for them, so pretty cool. Next is um, this thingy. It's a melon cutter. Basically, um, it's for honeydews, cantaloupes, small watermelons, and you just and um, cut your melons. And how awesome is that? And like, I never buy melons, but now I'm gonna start because they're kind of just a lot of work to cut in my mind, even though like not really. But with this thing, I'm I don't know. It's just inspired me to buy melons. Next is, I told you guys about this in my last favorites, this, this Instagram page, Alpha Channeling, and he does, like, erotic art. But, um, yeah, I just, like, fell in love with it, so I had to buy some of his prints, and I got this one. This is my favorite one. It's called Beware of Cats, and um, hopefully you guys are all over 18, though. <laughs> Not like I care just the human body so yeah but how awesome is that and um I got this frame on Amazon and I just love it I love looking at it it makes my room so so cozy and amazing I don't know I just it just makes my bedroom feel incredible I don't know why I like it so much but I do and yeah, I think that's it. I just had two other things I want to tell you about. One is the juicer I bought for Cyber Monday, even though it wasn't a discount. But I got it from discountjuicers.com, which is John Kohler's 
choose your site and I started just watching like I've been sick right recently so I've been watching like a lot of different random YouTube channels podcasts and stuff so I watched like so many of his um, juicer reviews on his juicers YouTube channel discount juicers and I determined what was the best juicer for me which involves watching like multiple hours because he always makes like hour-long videos and he won't tell you like what is the best juicer he won't just say like this is my favorite juicer he makes you watch like 10 hour long reviews comparing contrasting all the different juicers but i eventually figured out which is his favorite juicer and the best juicer and i bought it so i'll list down the secret that i discovered um because he says like this is actually the best juicer but then, like, the next day, he'll post another video, like, comparing that to this other one. But basically, um, this is the best, like, all-around juicer. If you want to juice just wheatgrass or um, greens, you should get, like, this different kind. But for kind of, like, an all-around juicer, if you want to juice little fruits, vegetables, and greens, this is the best. And I got it. It's the latest model. I'm really excited. And um, for the longest time, I thought that, like, juicing was bad because I thought um, you should only, like, blend but he convinced me that juicing was actually good. And out of all like the fruity people I've met at the Woodstock Fruit Festival and stuff, he always seems like the most vibrant and most healthy. Like he looks so young and everything. And he grows all his own food and he has this like amazing gardening channel and he goes around the world trying to find like these rare like plants that he can get like trace nutrients from that you can't get anywhere else so he says like juicing is like the most important thing he does and so I trust him and I'm really excited to start juicing because I've never done it before I've never had a juicer and then last but not least I want to recommend to you guys the Sam Harris podcast if you don't listen to it already um yeah I just listened to it like hours of it last night and well I've been listening to it but I was sick so I just listened to it like literally all night long he's just so smart and I just learned a lot about philosophical topics that I'd kind of taken a break from for a while and I was kind of feeling like really dumb because I'm just like damn I don't know like anything anymore and so he's just really make me feel very sophisticated intellectual cultured and I've learned about some really scary things such as how like artificial intelligence could be like the end of the human race and um it's really convincing i'm like oh my god that's like incredibly plausible and yeah and also like the threat of jihadists and kind of scared now but i don't know it's a really good podcast he's an amazing interviewer he's super smart i just like the way he talks and the way he interviews people he's so humble yet um intelligent so i really recommend it and that's all my favorites and let me guys let me know if you guys have any favorites for this month and um i will talk to you later thank you for watching